August 1985, Delta Flight 191 with 163 people on board crashes at DFW Airport. Mike Snyder was in his own car on his own time when he heard the news and rushed to the scene. And why did an air traffic controller order the big jet to slow down just before a storm instead of ordering the big jet to take another lap around the airport? For hours, Mike remained at the crash site, bringing NBC5 viewers the latest, most accurate information about the worst crash ever at DFW Airport. That day sums up the man I have called friend and co-worker for 30 years. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. And we begin tonight by welcoming my new co-anchor, Mike Snyder, to the 6 and 10 o'clock news. First, with the facts. We'll show you the facts of a small anti-terrorist strike force the last to leave. Many of the people that are standing in line here, this is the real front line of the airfare war. Ran up ticket reservations. Whether it was a plane crash, 1141 went down in this field, a hurricane rushing the Gulf Coast. This is the real and lasting damage of a hurricane on Galveston Island. Or the riots in Los Angeles. Please, we can, we can get along here. Mike was there. I could train an ape to make three Ds and two Fs if he took the right electives in the Texas school system. Working to bring North Texans the facts. What do you think about your father's choice? Great choice. And so much more. When we die, we'll all go to heaven because we've been to the Middle East. You've seen his work for years, but what you haven't seen... The concern... As a mother, would you do this again? ...of a journalist touched by some of the biggest stories of our time. It was a challenge. It, it was awful. Like the bombing of the Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma, specifically Tulsa, then Denver, then Houston, were just some of the cities where Mike honed his skills before arriving in Dallas Listen as a radio reporter for KLIF and then joining NBC5 in 1980. The bottom line is, can the U.S. military deliver what Ronald Reagan is promising? For he was quickly on a first-name basis with the movers and shakers of North Texas the people might called the Titans. What drives you to keep going like this? I'd rather work than do anything else. I can't tell you everybody was always glad to see Mike. I think we're going to have problems. Whether it was someone he was doggedly pursuing for a story, or even a co-worker whose facts didn't quite add up. Charge at that moment. Mike was there with questions, concerns, and little help to make sure the story was just right for our viewers and our community. One of the places it hit hardest and first was Mayfest. His drive to make things just right has changed so many lives in North Texas. I salute you all. Through the Air Power Council, he's worked tirelessly to help soldiers and their families. His work on the group's annual Skyball event raised more than a million dollars to make sure soldiers at war don't have to worry about their children here at home. Children are his biggest concern, whether it's making sure every Thank little one has a Merry Christmas or helping find the cure to a crippling disease. Fill the mood. Oh, man, a 10 spot. Yes, sir. Thank you. $10. Mike's commitments to the Angel Tree Program and the Muscular Dystrophy Telethon are all about the children who can help. You wonder what kind of sacrifice it takes to help Jerry's kids and to help this fight against the 40 neuromuscular diseases. He is there year round when cameras are rolling and when they are not. Fighting for the children, the parents, and the medical teams hoping for a cure. The children that are here at Muscular Dystrophy Camp and elsewhere that are working with the Muscular Dystrophy Association are in the fight for their lives. And it's important that we tell those stories so the people at home understand why we ask them to give money to the Muscular Dystrophy Association. But the lives he cherishes most are those he holds closest to his heart. Xander, Kylie, Parker, Maddie, Gracie, and his wife, Lynn. The family he's nurtured while bringing North Texans the news. It's their achievements he celebrates most. Their stories he shares from his newsroom desk with such love and care. I'm a very blessed man always making sure he gets every minute of their time together just right. You see, what makes Mike excel as a newsman is the same thing that makes him a great family man. He really cares about getting it right.